And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Alongside my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. Thanks for joining us here and seeing you the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Bo Bichette leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go at pitching in this game, Robin Roberts. Going to be hard to top his last start, Singy. He was outstanding. Complete game shutout. He got some great support from his defense. He's got the swing and miss stuff. Everything working for him. We'll see if he's got it today. All right, ready to get underway. Leading and here is Bo Bichette. Shortstop. Bo Bichette. Here comes a pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. That's back there. And gone. What a start to this one. His ninth homer of the year, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. So much for settling into this game, boo. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over. And I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. Sean Green, the next to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. fouled off to the right with the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters misses oh, it's a ball in two strikes always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning And the right-hander deals. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Back-to-back -back -back base ball. hits. That ball was Bruce drilled. 106 off the bat. And that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Stepping in, Carlos Delgado. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. That one misses, and that is ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Two balls, no strikes to count. The pitch. And that's down and away. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Yeah. 
3-0 down. And that'll load the bases. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Matt Chapman now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Swing and a chopper. To the plate for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. And next for Toronto, Joe Carter. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. First offering is fouled off. But has got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Squirts away a little bit, but no advance from the runners. And a 1-1. Fouled off. He was late. Delgado, the runner at third. Guerrero over at second. Chapman over at first with one away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. In there for strike one. And a pitch. There's a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Got him swinging. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. And the home team down a run. You're dialed into the show. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Roy Halladay. Boog, over 200 career wins. That's a lot by today's standards. Tells you about the longevity of his career, his ability to work deep into games, even when he doesn't have his best stuff. And now for the Phillies, Jimmy Rollins. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Batting second, the center fielder. And stepping Richie. in is the speedy Ashburn. Richie Ashburn. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. Move to first, and he's back in easily. I think baseball's starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. They need him in this game today. What Pitch out, but no action. Good eye right there. 
Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Runner at first with no outs here. He's going. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Oh. There's a ball. Throw. Save. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Here's a 3-0. There's a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. The 3-1. And that one is lifted in the air. Carter should have it. Makes the grab. Runner tags up for third. And he's in safely at third with one out. That is good. The and let's take a look at the lineup. And with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Boog, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. Struck him out swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Next to hit, Ryan Howard. That one's in there on one. Rollins on third with two out. Next oh. offering is downstairs. in there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. New inning getting started. Yeah, the batter now, Alejandro Kirk. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win, every manager's dream. The 1-0. -oh. Oh. Ooh, Rusty oh. Valentine umpiring behind the plate in this one. He has what you might call a tall strike zone, both at the letters and down below the knees. Yeah, and I'm sure that helps a lot of pitchers we see today who like to work up, down, trying to change eye levels and swing paths. Yep, yeah, exactly. Oh, Next offering upstairs. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. And here it comes. 
and a pop-up right side foul territory makes the grab one away as the game has moved along we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires i've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys nicknames hometowns and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great now a drag ball third base side and foul ball right hander kicks deals popped up to the left into foul ground Schmidt tracks it down for the out the battle, number 11. Fourth foul. Bo Bichette up to the dish. He let off the game with a home run. Bo Bichette, second round pick, 2016, and a kid who comes from pretty good baseball family. His dad, Dante, played for California, Milwaukee, Colorado, Cincinnati, and Boston over 14 big league seasons, and Dante could swing it. Yeah, and you just get the sense in watching Bo that this guy... Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. So they go quietly there. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Blue Jays one and the Phillies nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom half of inning number two. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Giancarlo Stanton. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a pitch. There's a strike. Halliday, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curve, a slider, a changeup, and occasionally works in a splitter. And that one handled. Tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. That is good. The second baseman. And digging in for Philadelphia, Chase Utley. Good eye right there. One down, base is empty. And that one off the outside edge. Two and one. Next pitch is outside. Three and one. Kicks and fires. And that's ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Chris Kyle Schwarber, a guy with prodigious power. He's made a couple all-star teams, won a silver slugger, an Ohio kid who played his college ball at Indiana. He's one of the better power hitters in the sport. Run around the goal. Pitch is low. Throw to second. Great jump. Utley, the runner at second with one away. Pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. A special player and a special uh, just human being. And for many years, you and I, being around the Cubs could understand quickly after we met Schwarber why Jed Hoyer and Theo Epstein seemed like they would never part ways with him. Next pitch is downstairs. There's a strike. Him. 
His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto, fourth on the batting average leaderboard in the National League. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. In the air on the infield. And the infield fly is called. Batting nine. The designated hitter. Nick. Castellanos. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. That one misses. One and oh. So he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and getting out of this little jam. Hot shot to third. Fires across the diamond. Out number three. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. We head on down to the top of the third. It's the Blue Jays one and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back on to the third inning. And now the right fielder, Sean Green. Sean Green. The wind and the pitch. And that one missing low. Green, a former gold glove winner, 28 years old. And they traded for him earlier this year. The pitch and there's a strike there's a swing and a miss he got away with one there but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this Fights that one away, still one and two. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. The wide to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, one away. And here's the first the baseman, Carlos the Delgado. And he's already singled in this game. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That one's in there, and it's nothing in two. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. The pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Down two away. Oh, that was perfect execution of that okay. curveball. Down okay. and in. He gets it out of the danger Lighting zone, and you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way, so you have to swing as a hitter, but then just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. Guerrero takes low. Second trip to the plate in this one. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the top of the wall. Now that third base is Matt. So a man aboard. And here is Matt Chapman. Oh, for one, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Chapman hitting fifth in today's lineup. And he's a former gold glover in the American League. And the 1 0. Got it started a little too early. Strike one.
Guerrero leads off first with two down to the inning. On the ground to third. They get the first, and that'll do it. One left for Toronto, but they still lead it 1 0. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, bottom of the inning. And now for the Phillies, Jimmy Rollins. And a pitch. Swings through that one. Ball one there. Next offering is in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. One and two here. And the one two misses to even the count. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Richie Ashburn. And first offering is fouled off. Ashburn measures 5 feet 10 inches, a career batting average over 300, and he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately, scoring eight runs over the last 10 games. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play, it definitely feels close. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Fouls it off, still one and two. Yeah, there's the ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. In the air on the infield, Halliday makes the catch, and there's two down. Now batting, third baseman, Mike. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Mike Schmidt. Struck out on just three pitches last time. That's in there for strike one. Fought off foul. Oh, and two now. Hit weakly on the ground. Chapman. Play made. That ends the inning. Phillies down in order. They're down 1 0. Out of the fourth, here's the left fielder, Joe Carter. Number 29, Joe Carter. Roberts back to work. 
And that's outside. Well, these Blue Jays did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. That one misses, and that's ball three. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And a four-pitch walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And now for the Jays, Whit Merrifield. Went down on strikes his first time through. Pitch. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Well, you can get away a little bit with not being so accurate when you've got such a great arm and you get rid of it quickly. And that's what happened right there. He made up for the lack of accuracy with excellent velocity. Nice job with the catch and throw right there. The 1-1. One -one. Check swing, no appeal. Two balls, one strike. Flares it into the outfield. That one gets down for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. And his hitting streak continues. There have been almost no bad days for him in the past month. This guy's running hot, Boog, and people around the league are paying serious attention to this streak now, especially the pitchers that are trying to slow him down. Next to hit, Alejandro Kirk popped out and foul ground first time through. And that one is in for a strike. Chris Alejandro Kirk, stocky catcher, an all-star in 2022. This guy can hit. Yeah, he can, and really just surprised everyone coming onto the scene, doing such a great job that became an all-star with very little big league experience before that. Roberts checks over to first, and he's back. And the 0-1. Merrifield on the move. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Nice little battle of speed versus power right there. Great wheels on the base pass. Top tier arm behind the dish. Really good transfer from that glove to the throwing arm. Got it down there in a hurry. That's why he doesn't get tested very often. And the 2 Good eye in that spot. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Two two now. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Bottom four. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Ryan Howard. The first baseman. Ryan. The wind of the pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball. The 0-2. Hard 
ground ball base knock. Now that the right fielder. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. And that one fouled off. Howard on at first. Nobody out. Misses inside. And it's a ball and a strike. Line drive. That's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Here's the second baseman, Chase Utley. Out towards left center. And that'll get down for a hit. Runner from third comes across. It's 1-1. Waste no time there. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They're going to go a long way as well. First and second, no outs. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. At the belt and fires. And yeah, there's the strike. No outs, runners at first and second. In the dirt, but kept close. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Two on, one out. And now it is JT Real Muto. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And that one is inside ball one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And the righty deals. Double play ball to second. Over to Bichette. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Kiermaier now. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite-level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Here comes a pitch. In there at the knees, it's 0-1. No well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Line drive, and that's just foul. Kicks and deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because 
It was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? Bulbashet next up for the Blue Jays. First oh. offering misses the mark. He's been Put going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. The 1-0. Swing it a foul straight back. That one missing inside. And it's even up. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Two two now. Three and two. Struck him Three. out looking. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. <laughs> So two down now, and here is Sean Green. Down the right field line and a base hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan the to be aggressive. Really turned on that one down the line, and that's a spot where there's pretty much never going to be a defender, even with the shift on. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Carlos Delgado next up for the Blue Jays. One for two. Save Over to first, and he saved. That's in there. Strike one. Now one and one. Two outs. Swing and a ball popped up. Utley pulls it down. And that's the third out. Blue Jays held in check. Score remains deadlocked at one. here in Philadelphia we head to the bottom of the fifth now it's the DH Nick Castellanos yeah, the right hater back to work and ball one well these Phillies looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on but it just hasn't happened for them yet they only have one hit with runners in scoring position so a lot of squandered opportunities it's tough because those are moments you just can't get back 1-1 one, one now. The other way, and it's caught for the out. Now batting, shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. Here's the shortstop at the play, Jimmy Rollins. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. That's in for a strike. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Puts it away for the out. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Richie Ashburn stands in for the Phillies. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And first offering is fouled off. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at-bat, get deep, 
whatever it takes, get on first base. Now the 0-1. Little chopper rolls foul. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. In the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Now batting. That extends his hitting streak to an even dozen, Singy. Do opposing pitchers start to take notice when a guy's on a roll like this? Yeah, I think so, Boog. It's not like it changes the scouting report on a guy or anything like that too much, but you're aware of who's swinging the hottest bat, and that's definitely him right now. Man at first, Mike Schmidt stands in for the Phillies. Calibre checks the runner, and he's back in safely. And there's a foul ball. On, Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss. Not a swing you want to watch again. Next one off the plate inside. And the count is one and two. Check on the runner. Ashburn dives back in safely. Ashburn off the of first with two away. Got it by him for the K. Philly strand one. Still tied. One one. Back at Citizens Bank Park, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he deals. That one missed. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made that proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. More plate discipline than dad. This to third, and it gets by him. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Pitch misses, ball one. Home plate umpire is trying to tighten things up a little bit. Nobody out, runner at first. And fouled off. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Hard ground ball for a base knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch of the plate lately. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. So up next for Toronto, Joe Carter. And Boog, I'd say he's due. In the air, foul off first. Howard gets there. He's under it. 
And out number one on the grab. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Two on, one out. And next for Toronto, Whit Merrifield. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. In there and it's 0-1. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Gregory Soto appears to be getting loose. Brogdon getting loose as well. The pitch. And it skips in the dirt. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Righty delivers. Runners on the move. Out and miss. The tag at third, and he's out. Next pitch is outside. That's a really good take. that off to the left and we'll do it again fouled off again and it remains three and two Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. Around third, he will score, and a 2-1 ball game now. It's the bullpen for the Phillies, Connor Brogdon. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. Connor Brogdon. Well, one-run game. Now at the plate, Alejandro Kirk. Alejandro. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. The pitch. And a foul ball. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. The 0 2. Sit down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. The 0-1 started after it, appealed to third, and Mike Fillmore right on it. He says he held up. Next offering misses, and it's 2-1. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Third home run of the season, and they add to the lead. It's 3-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back.
knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. in there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The 0-1. That one the other way, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. One down. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And the first offering is not close. pitch good eye right there appears they're working around him with the base open singing well you know these 2-0 counts boo they're just not what they used to be and we sound like old guys when I say that but ultimately this is a strategic game and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation two one now way out front for strike two Swings and misses, struck him out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. He gets the intention to walk here and now will force at any base with two gone. Now batting the second baseman. Whit. And now for the Jays, Whit Merrifield. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Liner. Base hit. Vladdy coming around third. He'll score easily. And they take a three-run lead. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. Not shortstop. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely, if he's doing... Oh, the throw is wild. 
Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it. And there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Here comes the manager out of the Blue Jays' dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. Roy Halladay departs, and he exits with a nice lead. Threw the ball well, and we'll have a new pitcher when we come back. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Tom Henke. He last now pitched two days ago. Number 50, Tom Henke. Richie Ashburn stands in for the Phillies. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And takes low for ball one. The 1 0. That one ripped right center field. That's back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Now the third baseman, Mike Schmidt. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. There's a strike. Hanky, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a fork ball, and he works in a two-seamer. The old one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Here's a 1-1. And that's in for a strike. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because Ward will get around the league in a hurry. Digging in, Ryan Howard. First pitch, just misses. What an out. Good oh, eye there. Oh. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Henke throws over. Oh, Rollins back easily. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. And here it comes. Nope, that's a win. Giancarlo Stanton hoping for a chance. He would represent the tying run. Yeah, Boo, plenty of power in that bat. They'd love to give him a shot here. Towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. Out of here. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they close the gap. It's 4-3. This crowd back alive. Came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton.
Swing and a foul straight back. Pitch misses there. A ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. The one one is fouled off. These guys like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, are you in a broadcast booth or are you a writer? Better keep your eye on the game. The one two. Stays alive. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And now the count is even. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. The tying run at the plate. And that's in the dirt. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one hammered. That's carrying. And that one is gone. This place is absolutely loving it. His ninth homer of the year, and we are starting over. It's 4-4. swing on that home run, Boog. I mean, it's late in the game. Just barely stayed fair. And it ties up the ball game. Impressive. New pitcher now for the Jays, Tim Mesa. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. G. Ashburn stands in for the Phillies. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the warning track. So a big opportunity here with the score tied and that runner on second to start the bottom of the inning. Yeah, and you know they're eager to cash in. You just don't want to come out of your shoes and make a mistake. Got to play this smart. Next pitch oh. is inside. And now it's even one and one. Winning run at third, one down. On the ground, out to short. The tag, safe! And the winning run comes in to score ball game. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Five runs on nine.